Today I'm going to show you how to make this little alligator clip. They are two and a half inches in diameter and they are super cute, super fun, and really easy to make. All you need to make this clip is your pre-lined alligator clip. I make them myself. 15 inches of ribbon. For this, I believe I'm using 5 8 inch width. A button of your choice or any type of gem. Scissors, hot glue gun, and a heat source to seal the edges. Um, most people use lighters. I use a candle because usually I'm doing a lot of these and I don't like sitting there and going like this. So, the first thing you want to do is cut your piece of ribbon into strips that are five inches long. So I'm just going to cut three strips that are five inches. And I'm going to heat seal the edges very quickly. If you are going to use a candle instead of a lighter, be very careful because the candle does burn hotter. So you don't even need to put it in flame, you just need to get it a couple millimeters away and just run it by really quick. If it burns, it's not going to be showing on this, so it doesn't really matter. But in general, if you're using a candle, you don't even have to touch the flame, you just get close. There's one. There's two. there's three. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make the loops of the bow. And that's super easy. So the way you do it is by taking your 5 inch strip, folding it in half, and making a crease. So the crease should be visible. If it's not visible on yours, just take a marker or a pen and mark it. Okay. So I've taken it and I've creased it. Here on mine you can see the crease. And on both sides of the crease I'm going to put a small amount of glue and fold the piece over wrong side to wrong side so it forms a little loop. Okay. Then you just do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now you have one of your little loops. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that with the two others. Again, fold it in half and crease it. Put glue on both sides. loop number two and last one and I do both sides at once it's a little bit quicker but also I don't mind that the hot glue cools a little bit and becomes tacky so it's still sticky but it's not going to burn me so there's our third loop so now you're going to take all three loops and you're going to put them in the position stack them in the position that you see on the bow so in this this position and the way you're going to do that you can do it by sewing but I prefer hot glue because if you sew they can wiggle quite a bit and I'm always afraid they're going to come apart so the way you're going to do this is you're just going to start with the first two and you're going to make an X. OK, 
Okay. And you're going to attach those with a little bit of hot glue. So I take a speck of hot glue and put it on and make the X and hold it. Now we have a position for our third. We're just going to come off and a little bit of glue. Put the third right in the middle. So now we have our bow. And the next step is to attach whatever you want in the middle here. Um, I do it sometimes with buttons, so you can dress it up, dress it down, whatever you want. So for this one, I'm going to use this little gold and pearl button. So the key with these, especially if they're buttons and not jewels, is that they have this on the back. And so you want to be sure that you're putting enough hot glue to not only hold this part in, but also seal around the bottom of the button itself. This is really important because if these are going to be worn by children, these are choking hazards. So you want to make sure that it's fixed on there really well. Also, if you are going to letting your, let your child be wearing it, it's probably best if they're at an age where they put a lot of things in their mouth if you're around when they're wearing it, especially if they pull at their bows. So now I'm just going to take a big... Speck of glue. So you can see how big it is. And I'm just going to let it dry for a couple seconds. And then I'm going to take my jewel and push it down. And I'm going to let it sit. You want to do this before you attach it to the alligator clip because if you put it on the alligator clip first, it's going to be at an angle and this isn't going to dry very well uh, in a fixed position. Okay, so now it's dry. And you want to go back in and check and make sure that you have a nice big dab of glue in between the bow and the button and that it's fixed very well. It's not going to move around. It's not going to move around at all. It's not going to fall off. So this one's very well attached. So now we're going to attach it to the alligator clip. And the way I like to do it is by lining up the bottommost ribbon on top of the alligator clip itself, putting the button at the base of the arch. So it covers the whole thing, but also when you put it on, you squeeze the bow a little bit. So for that, it's very easy. You just put on a nice strip of glue length of the alligator clip, take it with the bottom ribbon lined up, and just press it on and hold it. Okay, again, make sure that your button can't wiggle. Okay, and here you have a very easy but cute alligator clip two and a half inches in diameter. If you like these, but you can't make them yourself or you don't want to make them yourself, click on the link below. I have them on my website, Baby by Bean.